Um, we have been waiting for the postmortem. The results are out, and uh, we really appreciate our doctors and uh, whoever participated. Uh, what really the summary of the results is, uh, as the doctors have said, is that the child was bitten. Evidence or is existing in the report. Uh, number two, uh, as far as the movement of the child from the, as the other reports indicated, was actually told to go to the dormitory by the teacher who beat, who beat the child. And the evidence here has indicated that really there was hung, the child was actually, I want to call it the, uh, an issue of hanging in the using the, the things from ropes or uh, yes some ropes of uh, which are this uh, so market uh, ropes where you when you buy you are given some uh, ropes so i think those are the what uh, really was found and the child was actually it is suffocated and um, that is what the experts have said issue the school should really come out is the beating of the child i think that to me is not allowed in the ministry and uh, maybe the ministry can take up because um, I think to us we can be able to accept the report and uh, the ministry can take up because of that issue of pitting of the child which is evident in the report and uh, if the, the facilitator of the child to go to the dormitory in odd hours is also should be checked because that is also what could have caused because children normally they are very short term in their reaction if you live a long time you tell them something and then or beat them whatever it happened give them some time you'll find the child actually recovering and you'll be very happy after some time so so the pitting and hurriedly telling the child to go to the dormitory is a suspicion to us so which has resulted to what the death of the child i think as far as that is concerned that is what we other issues we can be able to deal with them as well as we go along Tio tumeleta huyu mtoto akiwa uh, class 7 ndio improve masomo yake atukufikiria chambo kama hilo inaweza tokea because this school wa most of the time wanachapanga watoto there was a time later mtoto alifanya makosa na wenzake I think Walindia Chikoni wakatoa some snacks. Sasa tukaitwa shuleni mi mwenyewe nikakuja daktari hakuku around nikakuja. So tukakuja tukatepo leo issue. And then that time kuna vipoko walikuwa wameficha mingi. Tukatolewa hizo vipoko alafu wanaambia class teachers once once kuchapa hawa watoto so after class teachers wachape hawa sisi pia tukaambiwa every mother we were three mothers kila mtu achape mtoto wake so, alafu wakalalishwa chini so tukafanya hivyo fulani tuliambiwa but that time ni nilisikiam vibaya sana because siko na fikiria kuna kitu kama hicho kinafanyika kwa shule so we also used to send money to teachers in school and my my bro used to borrow some money from us as the parents and from me as the first one and we used to send him some money for upkeep but the teachers used to eat the money instead of giving him the money when I to near they used to bet they used to to do their own stuff and they don't, don't give my bro the money that we send the money that my parents have worked for they have they have worked a lot to to provide for my brother and they don't give him the money that my bro is requesting for they eat his money and they overpunish my my brother and other people in school and we we are really calling the ministry. We really hope that something will be done about this, these uh, unnecessary punishments in school. Because when we take our students, I'm also a student, and when students are taken to school, we expect them to come out with nice grades, 
we expect them to come out refined. We don't expect that to make, we've, we've given a, a healthy kid to the school and then we get a corpse. That is not what we expect as a family and we're really devastated. We are really hoping that the ministry is going to do something about the school because at least let it not, we, we've accepted what has happened. We've accepted that my brother is gone, but we really hope that it won't be in vain, that it won't happen again, that the ministry is going to prevent this from happening again. Well, uh, on uh, 27th of September, 2022, uh, uh, we received a report from the headmaster, St. Teresa Primary School, a report which was made to Ainamoy Police Station, that one of his uh, pupils, one of his students, a class 8 student, uh, age 14 years old, uh, committed suicide. Immediately after receiving the report, police officers, uh, comprises of uh, DCI officers, uh, uh, visited the school, the scene uh, where the child uh, committed the, the, the act of suicide and uh, established that uh, uh, the body of the child was found in the bathroom hanging from the roof. Uh, the scene was processed by the police and the body was removed to Silaom Hospital Mochari awaiting uh, post-mortem. The investigation is ongoing. Uh, it is done by the DCI, DCIO. Uh, Karisho East, and uh, so far it is ongoing. The parents were informed, and uh, all the uh, investigation is currently ongoing. Uh, we shall give you more report on that at the end of the uh, investigation. So, uh, as at now, that is the information we can relate to the media. At these earlier stages, we are not able to say anything because we have not completed the, info in, uh, the investigation. There might have been circumstances that led to this, but at the moment, media allow us to finish our investigations. We shall come back to you and give you a full report of what has transpired before the boy committed suicide. Thank you.